Hi, this is Bonnie. Welcome to Every Step Counts. So tonight we're going to speak just kind of briefly about today and some of the things I kind of felt that God had laid on my heart, some of the things I heard at church and then applied to my life, and it was kind of cool and I really sort of enjoyed it. So I was driving to church this morning and thinking that, you know, when I first got up, I had a bunch of things to get done. Um, I had some stuff going on, and I allowed myself a fair amount of time. But, you know, I didn't really want to be late to church. So I was like, okay, I need to do this stuff. And I'm busy, and I'm doing my stuff. And I'm thinking, you know, I should really turn on some music or something to kind of, you know, get my heart right, get me in a more praise kind of worship, you know, mindset. Instead of just concentrating, concentrating on the things that I'm doing. You know, I, I need to include, or I needed to include God in what I was doing. And I thought about it, but I still didn't turn the music on. But I did at least sort of talk to God and and kind of start a running conversation with Him. And it would have been nicer if I'd turned the music on, but I didn't make that choice. So I got my stuff done, but I realized, you know... As I was doing my things, I thought, you know, I can choose still to be joyful for the day. I can choose not to be stressed because I was, you know, trying to get all this stuff done. And I can choose to be grateful for a beautiful day. I can choose to be grateful because I am blessed in so many ways. Or I could have chosen to be stressed. I could have chosen to not be grateful. I could have chosen to feel kind of frustrated, you know, because of what I was trying to get done. But I didn't choose that way. I, I, I chose the way I'd been taught to keep it more joyful, to keep it more, you know, an attitude of gratitude. You know, and I felt okay with that. You know, I, I'm not going to say I did great at it or perfect at it, but I did okay. And I felt pretty good. And, you know, as I was driving into town... I thought, you know, it's about choices. We have lots of choices to make all the time. And I just kind of felt like God was dealing with my heart about that. We have to choose to have an attitude of gratitude. We have to choose that joy that he gives us, that he says the joy of the Lord is our strength. You know, we have to stand on that word. And, and every time a thought comes across that isn't, you know, of that kind of mindset, then we have choose, we have to choose to take that thought and kind of push it away and not let it get a hold of us and go back to choosing to be joyful, to choose to be, you know, to have an attitude of gratitude. So I went to church, was really thrilled with what we heard. Um, if you've never heard Dwayne Sheriff at a Victory Life church, he is awesome, 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 awesome. And he's doing this series right now called Passion, Politics, or the Pulpit. You can go online, you can see it. It is totally cool. Um, and it, it was just way from the Lord and way from his heart. And it was really neat. And it was really right on. And I loved it. It was like a three-part series. This was the third um, day, you know, the third of the series and it was really good really worth listening to so then went on to the other service also had a great service just loved it a woman was sharing her testimony and it was really amazing I had met this woman I didn't really know her really well but I had met her and I knew she had a pretty serious walk with the Lord and pretty intense and it was just pretty cool so she was oh so she was talking about Again, choices. She had had a long history, like many, many years, like eight or ten years of serious, serious depression and anxiety. And I mean, to the point of psychosis and electroshock therapy. I mean, really bad, ugly kind of stuff. Really, I mean, she could barely function, you know, but her family stuck with her. And then as the Lord eventually moved her to a place of healing... You know, through different situations, different people. And, you know, she came to this point where, you know, she kind of had the healing. But sometimes these emotions or these feelings would still kind of come at her 
kind of, you know, from the outside, rather than coming up from within her where they had been, they would come from the outside and they would still try to steal her healing. And she realized that she had to choose to not let those thoughts get a hold of her again. She had to choose to stand on the word and say, you know, I'm healed. These are not from God. I am not going to accept these thoughts. And it just confirmed within my heart Again, it's choices. You know, sometimes we have to, you know, maybe once a day say, you know, I'm going to choose to have this good attitude. Sometimes it's once a minute. So sometimes it's even once a second. And you need to choose to keep the good thoughts, to shove those bad thoughts away, and just continue in that mode. And the more you do it, the better it gets. It's choices. And, you know, we have choices to make every day about all kinds of things. But that's really what I felt like he was telling me today. And, and I know I have to practice, and I'm going to practice, and I'm getting better at it. I'm not perfect at it. So that's this evening's talk. Thanks for joining me. This is Bonnie from Every Step Counts.